Nissan is hiking wages at its U.S. auto plants. Ford adjusts its approach to selling EVs and a settlement over claims of illegal financing practices. Good morning. I'm Tiara Riddick and welcome to First Shift. More on those stories in a moment, but first, while Toyota has been marketing solid-state batteries as a breakthrough, the reality seems to be a bit more tempered. Newly detailed figures from Toyota Times, the company's in-house media outlet, reveal some interesting insights into the initial production scale of these advanced batteries. Despite the promise of solid-state technology, the first batch of commercial batteries is expected to supply only a couple of thousand vehicles. Even when mass production kicks off in 2030, the output is projected to support over 10,000 vehicles. These numbers outlined by Toyota Times shed light on the limiting initial impact of this promising technology. For more on this story, head over to autonews.com. Ford has decided to adjust its approach to electric vehicles, specifically regarding dealer mandates. The company has been pushing for an aggressive EV transition, but it seems there has been a shift. Ford is relaxing certain requirements for its dealership related to EV sales. The automaker recently lost a legal challenge to its EV strategy. The court ruling influenced the company's decision to reevaluate and make adjustments to its dealer mandates. Nissan announced a 10% wage hike for some workers at its U.S. plants, Reuters reports. This development comes after the UAW reached new contracts with General Motors, Ford, and Stellantis. As Nissan takes strides to strengthen its relationship with its workforce, the auto industry dynamics continue to evolve. The wage hike takes place at the beginning of early January and affects production technicians, maintenance, and tool and die technicians. Nissan employs about 14,000 production workers at two vehicle assembly plants and a powertrain factory in Tennessee and Mississippi. About 9,000 workers will receive the raises. The Consumer Financial Protection Bureau has announced a major settlement with Toyota Motor Credit. The auto financing giant is set to pay a $12 million civil fine and an additional $48 million in restitution to consumers who were allegedly harmed by the company's practices. The CFPB claims that Toyota engaged in illegal practices related to product bundles that increased borrowers' monthly car loan payments. These bundles offering of various protection allegedly faced issues regarding transparency and cancellation procedures. While Toyota Motor Credit neither admits nor denies liability, the company has agreed to the settlement. That story from Reuters. It's a story that started with a missing vehicle title and took a surprising turn. Former Arkansas State Trooper and Central Ford General Manager Nicholas Hawley is facing accusations of stealing a significant sum from the dealership. The investigation began when fellow Central Ford employee paid nearly $10,000 in cash for a vehicle down payment to Hawley, but never received the title. After 60 days, the employee contacted a supervisor at Central Chevrolet, also part of the dealership group. Holly was arrested on November 9th on charges of theft of $25,000 or more from a business and first degree forgery, both felonies. Thanks for watching. For breaking news, stay with autonews.com. Have a great day.